Welcome back everyone to Final Fantasy 14 and we are working on the fishing quest again. Now today was a rough one. So let's show you where we're at. Out here in North Shroud up by the bobbing cork and you had to use the crayfish ball to get a striped goby a high quality. And once you got the high quality you used a mooch and then mooch to catch the shadow catfish, which is our end goal. Now to do this, I use the patience, which increase high quality by 50%. Then I use the preset hook sets. And then that helped me get the high quality striped goby faster. But as you can see, we still had to catch a bunch. So let's go back. And let's do this quest from the beginning. I just did that so I know what to catch. Because I'm sure you all didn't want to sit there for 45 minutes and watch me cast that reel in. I know I didn't like watching it. So back to Lenosa. Let's get our teleport on. And into the fishing docks. All right, get the net and fisherman's guild. All right, a game of cat and fish. So, 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 so we get ninety five thousand. Let's see, teleport, teleport, yellow whiskers. No, no. Yeah. I got like 22,000 XP for catching that shadow catfish. But anyways, a game of cat and fish. New fish rod, this one actually looks better. Uh, bass balls. And we have the gloves already. We might take the shoes this time. Let's check and see. Shoes plus 15. Shoes plus 15. Yeah, they're no better. Better defense, though. So, yeah, we'll take the shoes. Sipsu would have you learn a new technique. You're familiar with the Colonies Guild, aren't you, sick man? If you couldn't tell by its super colliest name... Their members are finicky bunch, particularly the fussy Master Ling Sap. So, when he comes asking for shadow catfish, no other fish will do. Even if I kindly explain that fishing one out involves an arduous journey to fall guard float, followed by grueling labor. Naturally, I thought of you for the task. Oh, thanks. This will likely require a bit of fish wheeling, if you know what I mean, though I imagine you do not, as I just invented the word. It means recasting a fish you just caught as bait for yet a larger fish. In my wisdom, I have deemed that your fishing prowess, land faring acumen, and physical presence directly in front of me qualify you as the ideal candidate for the job. I have no doubt you'll be more than Amp the capable of fish wielding or any other new terms I see fit to conjure up for that matter. Simply use crayfish balls to catch a striped goby, high quality, and then recast to catch the shadow catfish. Take it from your inventory of the fish wielding. Since the striped goby will become your lure, you'll want to catch the biggest, shiniest one you can find. A long journey lies ahead of you. And I fear the guild will not be the same in your absence. However, I choose to think of it not as losing a friend, but gaining a shadow catfish. Good luck. Fish wielding or mooching, as it is more widely known, involves catching a high quality fish and then recasting your lime. With the fish still on it, 
in an attempt to land an even bigger prey. A high perception rate will increase your chances of catching a high quality fish. And there we had it. As you can read, use a fish already hooked to you live and even on larger preys. And when you catch it, this thing glows and has that ring around it that you know it's ready. So let's go ahead and deliver this catfish to it. You'll find the catfish you seek at Fallout Float and North Shroud. Mayhap, it's a tad presumptuous to say you will find one, but that's where they are at any rate. Let's give them a high quality one. All right, Shadow Catfish, a large whiskered fish that can be found in the calm marshes of the Black Shroud. Suitable for printing on medium commerces. Uh, 27 Canarian. I don't know what all that means, but let's hand it over. Look at that big boy. Oh, man. Lies us all to crack a smile when he glimpses this beauty. They say never to look a gift fish in the mouth. But one can't help but stare at the gaping grimace. Looks like it could swallow a whole person. Yeah, of your size, perhaps. I'm sure the fish of Grenadier are, are none too displeased to see this one leave the water. I heard that Yazoo was covered the fish too, sometimes migrating north and attacking fishermen in hopes of stealing the catch. Suppose I should have warned you about that ahead of time. Still, I don't see what all the fuss is about. For all the links one needs to travel and dangers one needs braves, the fish tastes a little better than mud. Psst, pardon me. But perhaps I might persuade you to prepare them in a proper bath. Water washes off the wastes you can wipe away, but the invisible vapors on vanish with vinegar. You must mind the mud you can't see. Speaking of the mud you can't see, where'd you come from? Out of all of a sudden. A good good master gusts in and goes out a gale. Now you see me, now you don't. Actually, I think we both still see you standing right there. But that is neither here nor there, Tick Man. There are few fishermen who could haul in the catch you did today. Frankly, I've started to wonder how we even got along without you. And there it is. And I think I was taking the shoes. And the U fishing rod. Thank you. And that's level 38. So come on, give me something better. We're currently equipped with the best... What? Hold on, hold on. I just got a U fishing rod. Gathering 54, perception 31. You're telling me... The ship fishing rod is better. That is crazy talk. I'm putting it on. And it says it's better. Wow. All right, then. Well, thanks for joining me. My name's Tick, and we'll be back another day with another quest. Considering I have no upgrades. Y'all take care.